Let's do 10 Swedish word synonyms when it comes to people. Oi! My name is not Sven, it is Martin. Yeah. Hey guys, so who says I have to be in the studio to film a 10 Swedish words? I can just sit here on this chair because when I'm in the studio, either it's really early in the morning, I'm a little tired, or it's late in the afternoon when people have gone home, I'm tired. So now when I feel like, yeah, yeah let's do a uh, video about, you know, uh, words that sort of, that could mean the same thing, but still differs a little bit. And the first one is the difference between flicka and tjej. Flicka is, you know, a girl up to a certain age, while as tjej is more, I would say, like youthful as in teens or, or early 20s. It can't, you, you can still say it to like, like uh, someone younger than 10, uh, but I think you, you would still say flicka, girl, as opposed to tjej. You could say pojke or kille. Pojke is, you know, little guy, little guy. Kille is like someone who is, again, in his teens or early 20s. I mean, if, if a 70 year old, you know, would talk to me, he would probably, that person would say kille because, you know, there's an age difference, I guess. But um, there's still, yeah, there's a little bit of difference. So no one would say, you know, pojke to me. When it comes to relationship, you can be pojkven, which is boyfriend, or you can be man, which means husband. Uh, we don't really have a better word for it. We just say man, man. Uh, when you're getting married, you are, you know, the groom is a brudgum, but you don't really say that after you're married. Uh, on the other side, we have uh, flickven, girlfriend, and we have uh, wife, which is fru, or little fancier, Hustru. When a female person gets, you know, a little bit older, you talk about kvinna, which would be woman, and you talk about dom, which I think, you know, you, you have dame. You know when you say ladies and gentlemen, so a dom would be a lady. And on the masculine side, you have, once again, you have man. Uh, you don't have to be married to be called a man, you just have to be a nice person. What? And you also have herre, like when you say ladies and gentlemen, mina damer och herrar, herre. Then we come to probably one of the two people that gave birth to you, uh, which is your far, which is a little, you know, it's more, it's kind of like father. Uh, but then you also have papa, which is like daddy. Uh, most people would say papa, I think. Uh, although in the south of Sweden, I, I, I say far. And uh, your mom would be your mur. And if you want to be a little bit more, you know, make it easier, you can say mamma. Classic internationally. You know, it works everywhere. Mamma. And then we finish off with your siblings, where you have en bror, or if you want to put more slang into it, brussa. On the feminine side, we have en syster, which is sister, and then you have syra, which is also sister, but it's a little bit more slangy, uh, it has a slangy uh, feel to it. So there you go, a few uh, words that are more or less synonymous when it comes to people around you or the person you are. And this idea was suggested by one of my viewers, so if you want to see a certain topic, let me know in the comments and I will have a look at it and add it to my list of uh, great ideas to make videos on so that you can learn a little bit of Swedish. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you the next time you click on one of my videos. Bye!